Hi, in today's video, I want to show you how you can connect your TV and make the right setting to make sure that it outputs surround sound to your soundbar or your home theater system. In most TVs, you will have a sound setting. So go to the sound setting menu, go inside settings where you'll be able to find something called digital output audio format so in this particular case if you see pcm just being ticked what happens is that you are likely only going to be getting stereo sound so what you want to do is to be able to enable dolby digital or dolby digital plus in this particular instance now when you're not playing anything some tvs actually forbids you from making any settings so what we're going to be doing is launch one of the apps that is on board the tv in this case, Netflix, Check this out. and say we're going to be playing something. So go into the menu, go into the sound settings, select somewhere depending on the TV that you have, find Dolby Digital Audio Output Format. Okay, don't select PCM, select Dolby Digital Plus. If you see a Dolby Digital logo, you should be good and you should be getting Dolby Surround Sound. So in the example that we have just gone through, it is using the TV Onboard app. We have Prime Video, we have Netflix, and we have a couple of others. This connection is only then reliant on the connection between the TV and the soundbar. There's a HDMI ARC port that you are using. So it is quite easy. There's nothing much for you to set on most soundbars. In this particular instance, I'm using a Sonos Arc. What complicates the whole matter is when you are attaching another source to input into the TV before you then output the sound to the soundbar. So let's say for example, it's an Apple TV. I have an Apple TV connected to this guy. So let's go to the Apple TV. And yep, here you go. So this is the Apple TV. And under Apple TV, they have their own set of settings. You want to make sure that you go to video and audio, you want to make sure that under your audio format, you have this properly set. When it says don't change format, it's good. And when you want to change the format, you have to make sure you are be selecting Dolby Digital 5.1, not stereo, all right? If you output stereo, the Apple TV will output stereo to the TV, which will then output stereo to your soundbar. So make sure you have Dolby Digital 5.1 set up. In the case you're running an Apple TV 4K and your TV supports Atmos, you should set this change format to off to preserve the format and pass through the format. And over here, you will then be able to see Atmos if your TV is reporting to the Apple TV 4K that it supports Atmos. In my particular case, this TV doesn't support Atmos and therefore it is not reporting the fact that it supports Atmos back to the Apple TV 4K. Okay, so you leave this as it is, or in my particular case, I make sure that Dolby Digital 5.1 is selected. So when you get out of it, all your apps that are running on the Apple TV 4K will then say that it supports 5.1 or don't support 5.1. And the same will go for Netflix. Over here, you'll see whether it, it supports 5.1 or it doesn't support 5.1. In cases where your TV supports Atmos and Apple TV 4K recognizes it, this will show in Adobe Atmos logo here. So when the sound is playing, go to your TV setting, go inside sound again, Make sure that Bitstream is, uh, is selected and the digital audio output format should be in Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus, not PCM. PCM is stereo only. We now switch the source to NVIDIA Shield 2019 version. In the NVIDIA Shield, you go to settings and you make sure that when you go to device preferences, display and sounds under advanced sound setting, Dolby Audio Processing, turn it on, available formats, in most cases, use auto, right? In rare cases that you have to select which format to use, make sure that Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital or Atmos is selected at the bare minimum, okay? There is a setting that says never use surround sound, obviously, don't select that. I default it to auto, it has worked well so far. And when you launch Netflix and you start playing something, again, make sure that you have Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus selected. 
I hope this helps you guys if you have not been enjoying surround sound from your soundbar. It's a simple setting. Go into your TV menu setting to ensure that it is set to Bitstream Dolby Digital Plus. Otherwise, you are underutilizing your surround sound soundbar. If you have found this video useful and helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more tips and tricks on setting up your sound system or your TV or your streamer boxes. And I pay particular attention to the Sonos ecosystem. I have a lot of Sonos products lying around the house. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, do consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next video.